A very warm welcome to everyone. Myself Pavitra Kona. Today my topic is an Indian Olympic star. Remember being 15 with just board exams over, most of us would be in a dilemma of what next. Some probably knew their exact life plans while others were just figuring out them. However, there is one champion who represented the country in the World Cup at that age. It was none other than the hockey queen of India, Rani Rampal. This is the story of one of the finest ho women's hockey player in the globe and the able leader of our national team. She also has a penchant for producing goals like the game such as the game winning goal that qualified India for the Tokyo Olympics 2020. Unfortunately, the team missed the bronze by finishing fourth. But just by qualifying in the Tokyo Olympics 2020, they have fulfilled many Indians' dreams. Keeping this all aside, come let's see journey of her from the district of Kurakshetra to the stadium of Tokyo Olympics 2020. She was born on 4th of December 1994 in the district of Kurakshetra in Haryana. Rani basically belongs from a financially weak background. Her father is a cart puller and her mother is a homemaker. Coming from a state where girls were born, killed before they were born, pursuing a career in sports is almost difficult for her. By convincing her parents so much, at the age of six, she started playing hockey. In the year 2003, she joined at the Shahabad Hockey Academy, where she met the man who changed her life. That was none other than the Dronacharya Award winner coach Baldev Singh. In the year 2016, she was also the member of team that competed in the Rio Olympics 2016 by marking first time Indian women to advance in games in 36 years. But her international debut occurred eight years prior to her involvement in Rio Olympics 2016 when she made a history by becoming the youngest uh, youngest ever player to field it in the Olympic qualification when she was just 40. She made her World Cup debut, becoming the youngest player of India to do so far by scoring five of the team's seven goals. In the year 2013, she was awarded as a player of tournament in the Junior World Cup. She, along with her team in the year 2014, won the Ancient Games bronze medal. In the year 2016, she was awarded with the prestigious Arjuna Award. After that, in the year 2020, the Government of India honoured her with the prestigious Padma Shri Award. After that, the same year, she won the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award. Some of her achievements which I mentioned, but there are many more achievements which she had made. I would like to tell you that the lesson you should take from her journey is always try to convert your obstacles into stepping stone of your journey. I think the journey of her would be really an inspiration to all men and women out there, especially the young girls with dreams in their eyes. It is always a pleasure to talk about her, but this was a great experience to talk about her. I really thank everyone for the great opportunity. I thank you all once again.